Hello everyone, my name is JBR and welcome to Pokemon Scarlet. That's the one I got. Alright, so first off we have to pick a character. Choose a look. Alright, guess I'm gonna be this top left one. What is my name? It is not that there we go. Alright, uh... Oh, I can actually edit my stuff a little. Uh, what's a side fade look like? No. Nope. Probably not. Side part? Not really. Slick back, maybe. Pompadour! Is that a pixie cut? What's, oh. Uh, I, I think I hate the asymmetrical bob. We're going pompadour. Because nothing is better than a pompadour. Question Is my hair dark brown or is it black? Because mm. none, it's none of those other ones. Uh, yes, that is me. All right, yep, that's all good. Enrollment application to Naranja Academy. Alright, that's me. Enrollment complete. Whenever you see now, save it. Okay, that's obvious gamer stuff. So I'm up. Intro? Naranja Academy. Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. I should be clicking. It's time for you too to dive into the world of Pokemon. Oh, God. I want realistic enough Pokeballs that I can throw around and them not damage things. Director Clavel, head of Naranja Academy. Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. Yeah, and also, I know nothing about this game. It's also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Alright, cool, cool. Like, I just want... It's so cute. What is this little bear Pikachu thing? Pokemon can be found living all over. In the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon, as we both help one another to live and thrive. Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study Pokemon. It's a black Taurus, and as Pokemon trainers they have their Pokemon do battle, growing alongside them. Our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. I love this, ad, like, ad for this school. Oh no, I didn't get to read that. We, the faculty and staff at Naranja Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. <laughs> they all went to depots at the end. Alright, here's our box art legendary Pokemon.
Uh, it's so nice to see animated scenes in Pokemon. Uh, wait, are those Pokemon or just flamingos? Man, this is a legendary Pokemon flying downtown. So now, I'm trying to guess where this is. I feel like it's a, like close to the equator. Either, you know, South America, Central America, Spain, Italy. Get up. I wonder if I could have just left myself here. Oh, I, I hate his outfit. Alright, that's my wardrobe. There's my cool switch. This one's got a bigger screen. Wow. Today on Seud Adventures, we'll see Mesa Goza, a city that's home to a well-known academy. Oops, better get going. Ron built these shelves herself. They're neatly decorated with your belongings. Huh. Alright. Do I hear a Pokemon down here? Muncha! Oh yeah, so I plan to do this game very much a Nuzlocke. Which means if my and I can only catch one Pokemon in an area and if my Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. So we can't use it after that. Alright. Hi, Mom. This house is a lot nicer than other kids from the other games. Good morning, Jaegerber. Oh, already in your uniform and everything? Well, it is your first day at your new school, after all. So excited for you. Still, you might want to look want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Ding dong! Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Yeah, everybody get the door, would you? Thank you, Mom. I wish there was a run button, Mom. Or maybe I just can't run inside. Oh, do for... You don't just walk into people's houses. What's wrong with you? Do forgive the intrusion. You are Master Yagerbra, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. The director? And you came in person to help my son with his first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. So here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, no need to trouble yourself. Here, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Oh, God, I forgot I have that lame hat. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa. This way. Oh, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Mediter Mediterranean was the other word I was looking for in trying to guess where this game's supposed to be set. Just between like these brick things and yep. Oh, please don't be lame. Please don't be lame. Okay, that's fine. Oh God. 
Oh no, I'm a dweeb. Oh, I play video games so I can not be a dweeb. Wait. Is that how it works? Might as well get one save in. Um, any... Send the boxes. Automatic gift nicknames, yeah. Show nicknames, skip cutscenes. Alright. Save all that. Also, I love that I can rotate the camera when I'm inside. Just seeing building, seeing the inside of places in 3D. That's cool. Oh, just look at you. All ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our Storied Academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh, how... Oh, gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Master Yerba. Most important thing. Come on, Pokeballs. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? Okay. Good. I was worried he wouldn't... I worried, worried I'd have to go back to my bedroom. I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? Is it a, I hope it... Wait, is it a Pokemon? Right then, dear. Uh, okay. Right then, dear Pokemon. Time to come out of your Pokeballs. Alright. We are just choosing a starter right off the bat. We provide each student entering the Academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Spriga Sprigatito? That sounds Italian, I think. Or Spanish. Spur. Fu Fui Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. Prowl. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. Pomp. God damn it. They're all very good company. Why they usually refuse to even leave my side. Oh. I didn't like them before, but they're cute. What's this? So it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Yerber, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to the, my next home visit. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time for your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now if you'll excuse me, until next we meet. What a manly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk around with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. Oh, a phone. The latest model of smartphone. A Pokemon called Rotom lives within it, and it can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. It's a brand new phone! According to the instructions, you can check the map by pressing the Y button. It will help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Alright, so I have to... I, I don't... So, at first, before playing this... So I've avoided spoilers for the game as best I could. And I didn't really like any of the three of these. So, okay. Okay, I can't interact. But now I, I like all three of them for different reasons. Whoa! Buddy. Two, personal space. Alright. Ooh. 
right now they're all cute in their different ways even though I can't <laughs> I cannot talk to the duck Quaxley so I'm going to end up leaving this up to chance on which one I choose oh god there's oh popular item adding apps to it gives access to things use the map you find useful information move right stick you'll rotate your own view along with the map use the left stick to move the magnifying glass flying taxi that's cool oh neat but so the spriggy re Tito name very hard to say or remember um, but kitty's so cute but it's also a grass type usually I if I could choose generally I'd like the fire one but I don't know he's kind of derpy and then the blue one easy easy to remember name love his hair so that you know I think he's the cool looking one and I don't know if it's I'm assuming it by I'm assuming today people are gonna be posting spoilers so I haven't seen their final evolutions oh, I got a pokeball now I can catch them I haven't seen what they evolve into so there's still endless potential there why is everyone so rich in pokemon look at this house this mansion oh no okay quack sleep so cool but the little kitty and the flowers And he's eating lunches. His hands have to be pointless. Like, his arms are so short. Are you these three's trainer? Not quite. Master Yerbro has yet to make his choice, you see. I do wonder which of them he will choose as his first Pokemon. Don't tell me it's time to make the choice. I would be shocked if it wasn't. Buenos! We haven't met, have we? Buenos. That's Spanish, I think. Meaning. Hello, good day. I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, Director. Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our Academy's newest student, Master Yeribur. He'll be attending as of today. So you're that kid who moved up in up the road? I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Want to be friends? Yes, you look... Oh, I want to say yes, but why did you give me an option to pick? No! No! Huh? What's wrong? Did I scare you off? Maybe I came on a little strong. Miss Nimona is president of our student council. The champion ranked trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Easy now. You two will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later. And get to know one another better, of course. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates? Nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. Ah, oh, she's so cool, except she has to be old, a few years older than me. Am I not, like, ten? Like always? Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? Yes. No. So, gonna leave. 
yeah gonna leave this up to random usually I would look at my uh, trainer ID and let that kind of pick but we don't have that so I'm gonna get a random number 1 to 10 it's 1 to 3 it's the cat 4 to 6 it's the duck 7 to 9 it's the crocodile and if it's a zero we're gonna do it again so hey Google give me a random number between 1 and 10 Seven. Really? That's the one I wanted the least, Google. Man. Well. I wanted the cat. <laughs> Crawl? That's Fui Coco. The burning hot sparks it scatters will fry any and all plants in a flash. Like to go with our good fire type Pokemon Fuego here? I guess. Crawl. You chose Fuego. Would you like to give him a nickname? Yes. That's another rule of the Nuzlocke. But um, I'm just very happy that I can rename him because I can't remember that name. So he is now Eggbird. Egbert. So, ox venture joke for anyone who gets it. Fuego seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master Yerba. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. Of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. Yeah, Yerba, I can't believe you actually chose Fuego, go. I can't either. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Clavel? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nimona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Yagibur while he raises his own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master Yagibur, here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! Nice to meet you, Sprigid Tito. Welcome to the team. At least I still get to see him. Because he cute. Alright then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. As you may have noticed, Miss Nomona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. I do hope you'll join her for a battle. I'll help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. Alright, so she is down by the beach behind her house. <sighs> These rich people. What, it, like, what is this house? Also, what is that light on top of it? Oh, wow, they made items very easy to find as I almost run right by that one. Okay, so B still takes me to a crouch. In this case, it's sliding crouch. Can I, can I get into her house? Can I get on the roof? God, I love just 
going into people's houses. Don't mind me. Oh wow. You guys got some cool Pokemon here. You guys want to come with me? Alright, so we've some dragons. Some of them are chancy. Oh my Wow, that is a terribly small kitchen. Right. So there's... Oh, wait. Wait, how did I get to that? Oh, oh, there's my ID. Oh, it ends in a six. I could have had that Pokemon I wanted. Shiny Pokemon battled. Interesting. Uh, so how do I... Alright. Oh, no. I didn't actually pay attention to what button does the auto-healing. such an idiot and who has this in their backyard off their beach oh, these rich kids and Any anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side and it's our duty as trainers to, to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle So you ready to battle me, Jager, bro? Yes. Perfecto. I'm so excited for this battle. I think I'll use... Miss Nimona. I trust that you remember that Mr. Master Jager, bro, is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. Heh. Whoops. Good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. Jeez. She's such a bad class president. Come on, Yerba. Let's have us a fruitful battle. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Nimona. Nimona. And her sprig of... Tito. Alright. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. Oh, if I would have chose Sprigatito, she would have chose Quaxley. And I would have had the best two out here. Ooh, I already know Ember. Whoa, that's gonna be great. Super effective. You must have been setting up. Smart move. Fire is strong against grass. Yes, yes it is. Leafage. Hmm, it's not very effective. It's the opposing Sprigatito fainted. Level up. Wow, not bad, neighbor. Thanks for the prize money. What was that? Like two bucks? Look at you. Winning your first battle ever. You've got even more potential than I thought. You're going to be a strong trainer for sure. Now I want to try a different strategy. Let's do it again. Just one more battle. Mr. Yerba and his Fuiko are surely wary already from that last battle. Oh, sorry. I got kind of caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry, Yerba. Same to you, Fui Coco, too. Well, let's battle again soon. Oh, definitely. We'll definitely battle more. You two seem to be becoming fast friends, though you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I'm sure he can learn a great deal from a champion ranked trainer such as yourself. 
You bet, sir. Oh, that reminds me. Since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a second. Pokédex app. Nice. Pokédex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jacques, actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokédex. It's quite the age we live in now. Ugh, filling out a Pokédex by hand? Can't even imagine how much work that would have take. Oh, no, I suppose you can't. Yet, no matter how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. This is truly timeless pleasure. And the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you will both work hard toward the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Miss Nimona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Can I depend on you to see Master Yerba to the Academy? You would be doing me quite the favor. Of course. Leave it to me. Can I leave him in your capable hands? Alright, little one. It's time you and I were on our way. Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with my battery. Oh, right! Speaking of Pokedex, Yerba, you probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the academy. Come with me. But I don't wanna... I wanna play Pokemon. Press the minus button to open the Pokedex app on your Rotom phone in a flash. Also do it by... pressing X. Check. Oh, yeah. Alright, so... I need to catch up to Nimona. Okay, I, I can just throw him. Oh, yeah, your breath. I hear that Nimona here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you've already managed to make a friend? And I read about all the wonderful teachers you'll have looking after you at the school. Plus, so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Add in your new friend, Nimona, and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Now you'll be staying in the school dorms, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. <laughs> Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. You obtained a sandwich from Mom. You put the sandwich from Mom in your bag's key item pocket. Uh, that makes a fantastic meal when out on a picnic. Oh, maybe you'd better take these, too. Use them on that precious little partner of yours, should it get hurt in battle. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try to savor them all, the good times and the hard times, too. If you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Oh, all right then. You two had better be off, I suppose. Take care on your way to school. Your mother's so nice, Yaira. Oh, I was I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, vamos. This way. All right. She's off. Yes. Where is it? Oh. Alright, this here is Poco Path. It's the Lechonks. It's like the only one I do know. It's a path that leads to adventure for you and me. Out here, things are different than in town. You're going to see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. Oh yeah, that's right. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle. But you've got Fuecoco for that, right? If 
you want to try to catch a Pokemon, you've got to use a good old Pokeball. You've got tons. Have a few. Oh, she has tons. Do I get LeChonk? Wink, wink. Oh, what luck. Time for some learning by doing. Try battling this LeChonk. That's right, because the Pokemon try to catch your battling by pressing the eyes. Throwing Pokeballs. Power time, try to deal damage to it before throwing another Pokemon. Alright. That's right. I usually say whatever Pokemon shows up on the screen first is the one I try to catch. Since all the Pokemon just kind of free wander. Now that does exclude duplicate Pokemon. So if I already had a Lechonk, I could do the second Pokemon I see. But if I kill Lechonk, I'm out of luck. And don't get one for this area. Just some other rules to the Nuzlocke. Alright. Chonk's data has been added to the Pokédex. So I'd like to give a Chonk a nickname. See, it searches for food all day, possesses a keen sense of smell, but doesn't use it for anything other than foraging. Oh. Uh, what do I name... What do I name a pig? I just want to... I also... Try to just go with the first name that comes into my head. So he's Big Pig. Big Pig. Oh, that's an interesting way to look at it. Hala, that was awesome. You caught the very first Pokemon you went for. I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Anyway, have some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. You obtain 10 more Pokeballs. You put the Pokeballs in your bag's Pokeball pocket. We get in the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeballs. Remember that, and you'll be fine. I go battle those wild Pokemon, catch some of them. Let's meet back up at that lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. Pokemon you see wandering around are wild. When you run into them, a battle will begin. You can also start by throwing one of your Pokeballs at it by using these battle Pokemon that are up in trees or flying. Okay. And I got LeChonk hair. What did I do? Just take some hair off of him. Now this will tell me, is my is the EXP share on? Okay, I was wondering if group battles were a thing. I'm just gonna... Can I, like... I can't... I can't move it to the top of this screen. So we'll have to do that. I guess from... Alright, that's the Pokédex app. Press the plus when looking at Pokémon. Check that it's habitat. Alright, neat. But, um... Give an item to hold. Checks. Uh, rearrange moves. Alright, so I want Ember up top, followed by. What's round do? User attacks the target with a song. Others use this move, they will act immediately. Okay, that's weird, but. This is 
it's like taking out these hoppips. Easy experience. Can I throw him at the item? Ah, oh, nice. That is useful information. Wow, he throws that wide. Chesterberry, where did that come from? You know, I think this is a kind of cottony spider. Torauntula. Well, I hate it. I'm glad that's not the one that I got. Because I don't want him. I'm gonna focus on taking out all the ones that, you know, he is super effective against. I can't believe he survived. I, it's not who I was aiming for, but I guess I'll take him out. I'm surprised I can't aim where I throw that. Other than just kind of looking in the right direction. just the one, right? I don't have to fight. Okay. So let's try Brown. Oh, he's only a level two. It is adorable. Uh, I guess Ember it. The other thing I should mention if I see a shiny Pokemon, that is fair game to catch no matter what. Shiny Pokemon outweigh any random challenge or added difficulty. One of those little silkworms. Man. Give me something that says I'm in a new area. Because I want to catch another Pokemon. That is the 
one of the biggest drawbacks of the Nuzlocke is that I only have two Pokemon right now. I mean, I should have... How many have I seen? Yeah, I could have had six Pokemon by now. Hey, Yara, you getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon okay? I noticed you haven't tried catching one. Let me see, so far you've caught... Gah! Gah! Oh. I thought that was her reaction. Whoa, what was that? Gah! Oh! I never heard that kind of cry before. It could be some strong Pokemon or something. I so we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Yara. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. I know your Rotom phone can help keep you safe, but watch your step by these cliffs anyway. What? Wait, how is my phone going to keep me safe from wandering off the cliff? That's like the opposite of safe. Is it that legendary Pokemon we saw at the beginning? Hmm. What the f- How Did it get beat up by these Houndoom? Grrr. Bow, bow. <laughs> wow. I just died. What? No! You can't pull out your levitating phone to stop you from falling down a cliff. I call bullshit. I should be dead. Alright, here we go. Grrr. The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up? Oh, <gasps> my sandwich. Wait, can I... Can I give him a sandwich? Don't tell me he's just hungry. Sandwich looks good. Grump. Bites my hand off. Nom 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 nom. You were just hungry. Uh, fair deal. Our gear. You know, I'm sorry. We all get that way sometimes. My mind is just blown by encountering a legendary Pokemon in the first 50 minutes of gameplay. Even less. It was that sandwich. Man, I should have ate that. I could have evolved. you're acting like you won't see him again you're stuck down here so you have to follow him oh there he is he's he popped back in out of the cave a little all right 
Okay, I can't save down here. That's interesting. I guess it'll be fine. I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to come back next time where I think we're going to get to race him out of this cave. Which, that's, that's weird. But cool, but... I don't know. I'm loving this. So come back next time. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.